This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... I'm 18 years old, and I'm moving to New Hampshire. This is like the last time you'll have us all together in a long time, probably. Mother, I love you very much, and I will be back in three months to see you during Christmas. Uh, I saw this promo for Libertopia last night. Did the both of you see this? I've, I've seen that, yes. LibertopiaFilm.com. Uh, and I don't, I don't know if I was interviewed for this. I, I, I recall we've been interviewed by a handful of uh, videographers, but yeah, they, they're, they're following one of the Keniacs, uh, Andrew Carroll, who is, uh, he's been up here a couple of years now. He made the move when he turned 18 from California. And I guess they had a film crew out in California with him before he made the move. And they kind of have chronicled his move over to New Hampshire and what he did since then to some extent. I'm not sure at what point it's the, the film stops, but the promos, the trailers are up now over at LibertopiaFilm.com. We also posted them over at Freekeen.com, so you can see them there as well. But they're also following Will Buchanan, who uh, we talked to quite a bit on this program as he walked across the country uh, as part of the Walk for Liberty, literally starting on the West Coast and walking all the way to the East Coast. So up in, I think it was Oregon is where he started, yes. and he finished on the seacoast of New Hampshire. And didn't he finish with a uh, a polar bear plunge, if I'm not yes. mistaken? He wasn't real excited. It didn't look like from that video. It looked but like man, a he, terrible he time. Did, went and did it. <laughs> <laughs> Jumped right in that cold water. Yeah. Peer pressure. Yep, yep, pretty much. Um, so it's following the two of them and then one of the other uh, marijuana civil dis- – not a civil dis- – but uh, marijuana political in the system activists, uh, Matt Simon. They follow the, the three of them and their journeys to New Hampshire, uh, whence they come and – or from? Darn it. I get that wrong sometimes. Whence they come. Whence they come. Yeah, it just sounds so weird. Anyway, it's uh, looking good, and I think that oh, it, yeah. looks like it looks like a film. very professionally produced uh, documentary film that you would see on Netflix or something. I was I was very impressed with the promo that they had, the little trailer. And it doesn't seem like it's going to be making fun uh, of the activists. It doesn't seem as though it no, is. No, I didn't get that impression at all. I, I I was wondering about that when I was looking at the the document or the, uh, the the trailer for it. But then when you go to libertopiafilm.com, they actually have a link to the Free State Project right up at the top of their page. So it's not like they're trying to, to hide that or anything. And I'd, I think I'd heard good things about the filmmakers and, and being friendly toward the uh, the ideas of liberty, liberty. So I just think it's great. I mean, there's all kinds of wonderful coverage of the activism going on here. And the idea that this movement is just going to dry up in a year and that, uh, you know, five years later, no well, one will remember the Free State the, Project. That's what the accusations of some of those sure. who, uh, you know, are, are fed, it's their fantasy. fed up with, uh, you know, Free Staters and Free Keeners and their activism here, yeah, especially fed in, in Keene. Um, well, they're just fed up, period, because the, the status quo is being threatened, and the people who are inside the system are feeling threatened by uh, the people both inside and outside of the system. Uh, I mean, you look at somebody like an Andrew Carroll, who's uh, working inside the system. He's running for political office. They are attacking him in the newspaper. The uh, His political opponents, one. his political opponents in the, the race for state representative have two of them, have written in letters to the editor to the newspaper, also one former state rep, basically this trying to... This isn't a real Democrat. That's right. They're outing him as uh, as an imposter, as an in- ah. infiltrator. And uh, and it's just it's pathetic and it's desperate. They don't have anything positive to say right. about themselves. They got really crappy Democrats running. They're right. scared that uh, you know some of their awful awful Democrats with terrible voting records. One of them would would get picked off. Yep. And that's all it takes. By the way, they've got uh, seven seats and eight Democrats running for them. And in Keene, uh, doesn't seem likely a Republican's going to take one of those seats. <laughs> When's the last time that happened? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I I wouldn't bother. Look, I wouldn't bother wasting the calories it took to look it up. Keene, New Hampshire, the capital of libertarian civil disobedience. The folks over at freekeen.com believe this is the place you should be. If you believe in peaceful non-cooperation, freekeen.com invites you to the beautiful hills of western New Hampshire and invites you to join their peaceful evolution. Freaking.com. Ah. 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 Ah.